All right, guys, today we're gonna learn how to draw my favorite nocturnal bird, the owl. That's right, that means that he is asleep during the day and he is out at night looking for food. So, it looks hard, guys, but it's not, I promise. Here's what you're gonna need to start. You're gonna need a blank piece of paper and you want it to be standing up tall, friends, so that you have enough room to fit your owl on there, okay? You're gonna draw your drawing with pencil. That's right, guys, pencil erases. Miss Moore is gonna use this marker so you can see what she is doing much better. All right, you ready to start? All right, so the first thing we wanna do is at the top of our paper, towards the top of our paper, we're gonna make a nice big curved line. That's gonna be the top of our owl. Then under that, I'm gonna make the biggest giant capital U underneath it. This is the body for our owl. All right, we need some eyeballs. We did a really good job with those when we did our earth. So we could use some of the same ideas. Well, I'm gonna make them nice and big because I want my owl to be kind of silly. Two eyeballs. Now, is that enough, guys? No, that's too boring. So I need some details. I'm gonna put a little circle on the inside. I want a little spot where the light catches on it, so I'm gonna leave that one part white and color this part in black, so I've got his eyeballs. Now, friends, you added the cutest little eyelashes and things to your owls, or to your earth the other day. Could you do it here? Yes! I think I'm gonna make mine have some crazy eyebrows. I know, it's silly. Owls don't really have eyebrows, but it's our artwork, we can be creative. All right, now we need his beak. And we're gonna use that triangle shape for his beak. And I want a little detail, so I'm gonna put a little detail. Oh, he's looking so cute already. All right, now we're gonna make his wings. I'm gonna have one tucked in on this side with a curved line, and one tucked in on this side with a curved line. Oh, guys, we're almost there. Here's where we're gonna put his feather, feathers. We're gonna take one line from his wing to his beak and one line from his wing to his beak. Now I see this is his belly. Almost there. I'm gonna take a curved line up and a curved line down to make a little owl ear. Same thing on the other side, a curved line up and a curved line down to make another little owl ear. We're almost done, guys. We just need his talons on the bottom that helps him stand on things. It sounds hard, but it's not. Watch. Curve and curve. Look, I've got two curved lines. They're the same, but they're a little bit spread out. And then my favorite letter of the alphabet goes on the bottom here. It's a gigantic M. One more, guys. This time it goes the opposite way. Curve, curve, and my favorite letter of the alphabet, a giant M. Now guys, it's your turn. I'm gonna want you to add your own details. Could you put him on a branch? Yes. Could you add patterns and details to his body? Yes. And do I want you to give him color? Absolutely. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. 